doing tourism up at Wildtech. Today I'm going to go check out all the different jobs on the Inter Island there. First stop is the Wellington Terminal, where the Kaitaki is about to raise anchor. Good morning, Nettie. How are morning. you? I'm Dan. I'm one of the onboard service supervisors. Hi. I understand you want to have a bit of a look on how yep. we operate on a day-to-day -day basis. There are 60 crew on the Kaitaki, covering a whole range of jobs, from running the engine room, to servicing customers, to manning the bridge. Good afternoon. Hello. Have you got your um, booking number? Uh, just have your tickets. I'll take that. Every journey has to start somewhere, and Nettie's first task is issuing tickets. Ah, yeah? It's not busy. Just see that booking number there? Yeah. Oh. And just type it in and press enter. Every year, a third of a million tickets just like these are issued. Yeah. And that's yeah. just to the foreign tourists yeah. heading to Picton. How many people are travelling with us today? Oh, it's fairly quiet today. Um, we've got about 300 passengers on the way down and about 400 on the way back. We can actually fit up to 1,650 people oh, wow. on any given sailing. Um, which is a bit busier than today. Right, welcome on board. You're now officially on the ship. Um, the ship is actually under British flag, so you've actually taken a short holiday to Britain for the day. Wow. <laughs> so we're no longer in New Zealand. Make our way inside, shall we? Awesome. This patch of foreign turf is the length of two rugby fields and can carry hundreds of cars and trucks, serving as a vital lifeline for our nation's freight industries. So overall, this is the biggest passenger ferry in New Zealand and reflects in the cargo space that we do have. So I see they're using chains over there, what are they for? Those chains are what we call lashings. Okay. They're basically attached to all of our trucks, all larger vehicles to avoid movement during a sailing, no matter what the weather is. And then, now put, yeah, now. Put down. Yeah. No, hold it, hold it in your hand. Hold it in your right hand. Far above the acres of boys' toys sits the Silver Service Kaitaki Lounge. Tuck it in. That's the one. We're in the search for perfection. No newspaper is left unturned. How long have you been here? How long have I been with Interanda? I've been with Interanda just over a year and loving it. Oh, I've been yeah? in hospitality for 15 years. A chef by trade, but front of house now. And what's your favourite part about being with the Interanda? My favourite part is interaction with passengers. Maybe a little bit shy, but once I get in there, I'm fine. I've actually got a laptop. Do you have Wi-Fi? Yep. We've got free internet access, so I just give you a um, code and password and you can log into it. Oh, great. Yep. If you need anything else, just let us know. As well as wireless internet, there are a huge array of offerings for the public on board. And that means the hospitality staff get to have variety in their jobs. Rebecca is fresh on the boat. Hi there, sir. How are you going? How can I help you? Uh, can I have a decaf trim latte? Decaf trim latte? Sure. But she's already absorbed the coffee culture that's led to award-winning brews. Perfect. Great, thank there's you. An art, there's an art to frothing milk and she's got it just right. We'll make a um, coffee for the captain then. Yeah, what are we making? A flat white. Okay. So it has right. to be especially good. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you do this. Do you like it here? I love it here. It's, it's, um, the people are great. Your um, customers are great. Customers are great. You know, if, if it wasn't for the customers, we really wouldn't be here. So the bubbles aren't so good, but you oh, know, practice yeah. does make perfect. <laughs> you know, you, you just got to keep at it, stick at it, and you'll be fine. Right, is the captain's coffee ready? Yeah, just putting the lid on. Fantastic. Finished. Oh, we might as well bring it up. Yeah. Come with me. Alrighty. At sea, there's a pyramid hierarchy, and sitting on top as the leader, whose word is law, is the captain. Hey, captain. Hello. Is your coffee? Thank you very much indeed. Welcome on the bridge on Kaitaki. Thank you. OK, uh, this is where you can manually steer the ship. Do you want to manually steer it? Um, can I try it? Yes, you can try it. Sit down. It's kind of comfortable. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. It is. Uh, it's spring-loaded and everything. So yep. now I'm going to put you into what we call manual steering. I'm going to press that button. You just hold it in that position now, and she come back. You see how she's coming back? Yeah. Yes, how is it to uh, steer 15,800 tons? I feel real powerful right now, <laughs> I feel really empowered. Yeah. <laughs> and you have 28,000 horsepower. Wow. That is actually driving it forward now. That's a little hey. bit more than your little car, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Way more. <laughs> yeah. Um, it took me about half an hour to make your coffee. How long do you think it would... Take me to do what you're doing now. Well, uh, to be in my position, 
it takes a few years. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I grew up in a little fishing village mm -hmm. in the west coast of Norway, and uh, my father was a sea captain. He was a teacher for the schools of navigation at the time. Okay. So I never had a bicycle in my life, but I could row a boat from I was 20 <laughs> years old. <laughs> yeah. So I started to see like that, and I've been to sea ever since. And uh, this year, I've actually been 50 years at sea. Oh, wow. And I still love it. And um, how's your coffee? Oh, very good indeed, thanks. You must have been training downstairs, have you? Um, just, just a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit, yes. <laughs> yeah. The Inter-Islander has three ships working the strait. This is the Arateri, sister to the Kaitaki. It's purpose-built for passengers and rail, accommodating up to 60 wagons and serving as a crucial part of our nation's infrastructure. All the ships carry passengers, which means a thriving onboard hospitality industry. Culture is certainly unique on board the vessels, um, as one can imagine, but a very tight, close knit family. Main reason for that is you can't, unlike an office building, go up the street to get lunch. You all have lunch together, you take your breaks together, and you train together for emergency situations or in customer service. Nettie may have lashed trucks down and steered a 22,000 tonne ship but it's in serving the customers that she's really learnt to see a different part of herself. Hi, Miss, how can I help you? Um, I wanted to watch a movie. Is there anything yep, good we've going? got um, Just a Job showing right now. It's a really popular movie going. Sweet, sounds good. Whoop. Yep. Here's your ticket. And you. enjoy. Okay. Once again, on behalf of the captain and crew of Kotaki, thank you for choosing to travel with inter -Islander. Nettie did fantastic, she certainly had eye to detail. Coffee didn't taste too bad either from what I heard from the master, so he's quite happy with that. He'll have her back. Today was really fun, it was, it was a different experience. I think the best part of today by far was steering the boat. Like actually being on the um, captain's chair and really just, yeah, it was fun, <laughs> awesome. To become a Maritime Hospitality crew member, you'll need to take the National Certificate in Maritime Commercial Passenger Vessel Hospitality Level 2 and it can be taken on the job. Communication skills and a friendly attitude are crucial, and you must be able to remain calm under pressure in the case of an emergency. Cash handling and basic math skills are needed, and experience in the hospitality industry is a bonus. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.